There are so many things that people are divided on, things such as politics, religion, and what to feed their dog. But one thing that has always stayed constant is time, and especially what year it is, because we all know that the new year brings broken New Year's resolutions. However, this idea has been shattered by the German historian Herbert Elig, which sounds like the new Volkswagen model, but he states that the current year, 2022, is actually 1725. And he says that the year 614 to 911 AD, the Middle Ages, were completely invented. And let's hope this doesn't become a political issue. The story goes that Pope Sylvester II, the Holy Roman Emperor Otto III, and maybe Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII all got together in a cool club meeting and changed the calendar to make it seem as if Otto had begun his reign in the year 1000 AD. Because. The reason being, also, is that 1000 AD sounded a lot more important. So, great, great evidence. Then the three very powerful men were quite easily able to cover up any evidence and edited all existing documents. Helig also points to a discrepancy between the Julian and Gregorian calendar, which only has a difference of 11 minutes. But this 11 minute difference adds up to a day after 128 years, which the Julian calendar didn't account for. The calendar had been used for 1,627 years, but I still believe Yoda is older than that. But this goes into some math that I do not understand. And so basically, as a result, there are some 300 years that are missed, that completely missed out from history, as according to Elig. Elig states that because of this, Charlemagne and his massive empire did not exist, and instead he was some sort of Arthurian legend, along with the rest of the Middle Ages. However, there are some obvious plot holes in this theory, since it only focuses on Western Europe. It requires every culture to lose an equivalent amount of time. This includes the Byzantines, the Chinese, the Indians, the Persians, the Yucatan, Mayans who are in the Americas, and you get the rest. This also makes it extremely hard to explain the rise of the Islamic Empire, since it, it did happen during this time period, which all, and has a lot of substantial archaeological evidence correlating to that time. We can also use astrological evidence to look back in time, since many are well recorded by many ancient civilizations, such as the Mayans. So historians, with the help of very smart astro astrologists, can help find a relative time span between certain astrological events and other such events to help measure the present time. I personally do not believe in Elik's theory, but it is a fascinating thing to think about, and you know, it's just a quirky thing that. It's a quirky thing to help challenge your mind and help get a better understanding of his point of view and then also a better solidifies your understanding of history. Thank you for listening.